So we're going to start by working our way through the folds and then once we have our hole punch we'll work our way backwards to figure out where these hole punches end up. So starting in fold one we have a diagonal plane and we're folding the top right corner of paper down to the bottom left. In fold two we have another diagonal plane and we're folding up into this triangle right here. In fold three we have a horizontal plane and we're folding whatever was left on that bottom half of paper up into this piece here and we have one hole punch right here and it's in the top row in the second column so we can see that this hole punch ends up on paper in fold three but in fold two it does not end up on paper so we need to mark it as empty right here in our grid meaning it is not punched right there so now working backwards when we undo fold three this hole punch needs to be reflected back down across that horizontal plane and it'll end up right here. And we can see that that hole punch ends up at least partly on paper in fold two and right here in fold one. So when we draw that same horizontal plane from fold three in our grid and reflect where that hole punch was right there across that plane, it ends up down here. Now when we undo fold two, the piece of paper that was initially folded up is this triangle here in blue, and that includes this one green hole punch. But since that green hole punch exists on that diagonal plane, when we undo that fold, we're just going to be filling in the other half of that hole punch. So if I drew that same plane right here in our grid, when we undo fold two, we would just be filling in the other half of that hole punch. So we don't add any new hole punches in fold two. And in fold one, we need to reflect this triangular piece back across that diagonal plane. So this hole punch, if we reflect it over, will end up right there. And it might be hard to picture exactly where it ends up. So if we draw that same diagonal plane right there in our grid, and we reflect this green hole punch over, you can see how it would end up right there. So this is our final pattern of only two hole punches and that matches up with answer choice A, so A is the correct answer.